I'm about to teach you 70 common Spanish phrases that you can use right now to have your first conversation in Spanish, or even prepare for a trip abroad. We'll start with the really easy ones and then gradually introduce some more interesting phrases so you can really make a good impression with your Spanish. And make sure you stay to the end because I'm going to give you a valuable Spanish phrase book and learning guide completely free. So let's get started. The quickest way to greet a Spanish person that you meet is hola meaning hello, hola. This is a friendly and common way to greet uh, anybody, but with strangers it's kind of casual. So you could also say, buenos días, buenos días, good morning, or buenas tardes, buenas tardes, good afternoon. And where we might say good evening in English, Spanish people will often just use that same buenas tardes for both good afternoon and good evening. Now, the next phrase is one that you'll probably be on the receiving end of, which is bienvenidos, bienvenidos, which means welcome. So now that you said hello, how do you keep the conversation going? Well, here are some great phrases in Spanish to try out. ¿Cómo estás? ¿Cómo estás? How are you? And a good way to answer that question is estoy bien, gracias. ¿Y tú? Estoy bien. Gracias. ¿Y tú? I'm fine, thanks. And you? If you want to ask how are you in a very casual way, you can just say ¿Qué tal? ¿Qué tal? Which means how are you? But you usually say it when you don't really expect a very in-depth answer. So you might get a response like Bien. Bien. Simply meaning good. Or así, así. Así, así meaning so-so. Now, just like in English, speaking like this is fine with friends and family. Now, another way to ask, how are you, is ¿Cómo te vas? ¿Cómo te vas? How's it going? But wait, let's hear that one again. ¿Cómo te vas? Do you notice anything strange there? That V is pronounced almost like a B, because in English, the letters B and V represent different sounds, don't they? But in Spanish, they actually represent the same sound, so it's something to be aware of. This sound in Spanish is quite different from anything we have in English. It's like a, a b, 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 but it's a bit softer. So let's hear another example. Vale. Vale. This means okay. See the spelling? You could also say, ¿Cómo te ha ido? ¿Cómo te ha ido? How have you been? Another one you'll hear Spanish people say is, ¿Qué pasa? ¿Qué pasa? What's happening? Or what's up? This one's a little tricky now. In some places, people say ¿Qué pasa? all the time as a casual greeting, but it can also be used to mean What's wrong? The next question is a useful one. ¿Qué haces? ¿Qué haces? What are you doing? Now, if there's one essential ingredient you'll need in all your Spanish conversations, it is, of course, politeness, right? Now, Luckily, Spanish polite words are super easy. Gracias. Thank you. Por favor. Please. De nada. You're welcome. Perdona. Or, oye. Excuse me. You can use one of these two words when you want to ask for something. But if you're in a busy street and you want to get past, for example, you should say something a bit different. Perdona. Or, Disculpa, meaning excuse me. Disculpa literally means sorry, so you can also say this if maybe you didn't hear something that someone said. Disculpa. But another kind of sorry is lo siento. Lo siento. But we use this version when we've made a mistake ourselves. And if you've watched this far, you definitely haven't made a mistake, and I'd love it if you could hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications so you hear about future videos. Okay, so you've survived your first Spanish conversation, but what if you want to know, what if you want to get to know the person better? Well, this is where asking questions about their life, their family, where they work and so on, you know, small talk, that's where this comes in handy. But before we get into the phrases, let's quickly review a few important Spanish question words. Que, what? Como, how? Cuando, when? Donde, where, quién, who, por qué, 
Why? Cual? Which? And by the way, if you're wondering how on earth you can memorize all these phrases, don't worry, because the guide I'm going to give you at the end is going to give you powerful techniques for learning Spanish fast. Now it's time for the phrases you need to ask the most common questions in Spanish. Now, if you're meeting someone for the first time, you might ask, you might want to ask what their name is. And you say it like this. ¿Cómo te llamas? ¿Cómo te llamas? Now, if someone asks you this, then there are two ways to answer it yourself. First of all, you can say, me llamo, me llamo. This means my name is. So I would say, for example, me llamo Oli, me llamo Oli. You can also say something a bit different, mi nombre es, mi nombre es, which means the same thing. Now next, someone might ask you something like, de donde vienes? De donde vienes? Where are you from? Or donde vives? Donde vives? Which is where do you live? And you can answer like this: Yo soy de. Yo soy de. I come from, and then the name of your country or your city. For example, Yo soy de Inglaterra. Yo soy de Inglaterra. I'm from England. Or Yo soy de América. I'm from America. You don't have to start with yo, by the way. You can cut it out and say just soy de América or soy de Inglaterra. Now, the tricky subject of age, and this is always a bit uncomfortable, isn't it? But here's how you ask it. ¿Cuántos años tienes? ¿Cuántos años tienes? How old are you? And if you get asked this yourself, you can answer like this. Tengo 38 años. Tengo, I have, and then the number, however old you are, how many years you have, literally. So, tengo 38 años. I'm 38 years old. If you don't know the, the numbers in Spanish yet, then a good trick is just to take the time to learn the specific number for your age, and then you can use it over and over again. So let's try a few more simple Spanish questions now. ¿Qué hora tienes? ¿Qué hora tienes? What time is it? Literally, what time do you have? ¿Dónde puedo comprar? ¿Dónde puedo comprar? Where can I buy? Whatever it may be. ¿Cuánto cuesta eso? ¿Cuánto cuesta eso? How much is that? ¿Qué es esto? ¿Qué es esto? What is this? ¿Entiendes? ¿Entiendes? Do you understand? And there is another way to ask, do you understand, which is, comprendes, comprendes. The meaning is the same, but there's a kind of subtle difference in usage, which is, entiende is better when you, you understand something logically because someone explained it to you, whereas comprende is better when you have a kind of intuitive or natural understanding from your own knowledge. Hablas inglés? Hablas inglés? Do you speak English? ¿Dónde está el baño? ¿Dónde está el baño? Where's the bathroom? ¿Tienes hermanos o hermanas? ¿Tienes hermanos o hermanas? Do you have brothers or sisters? Now, with all these Spanish questions, you're going to want some answers too. So now, how to answer someone in Spanish. And sometimes all you need to answer someone properly in Spanish is one word. Sí. Yes. No. No. Tal vez. Maybe. Siempre. Always. Nunca. Never. A veces. Sometimes. Claro. Of course. And of course, these seven words I've just told you are uh, they're daily Spanish words you, that you're going to use literally every day, so they're well worth memorizing. But now, what do you do when you don't understand something or you need to ask for help? Well, here are the top 12 Spanish phrases you can use for dealing with problems. Puedes ayudarme? Puedes ayudarme? Can you help me? Or if you want to help someone, podría ayudarte? Podría ayudarte? Can I help you? Sin problema. Sin problema. No problem. ¿Puedes repetirlo? 
¿Puedes repetirlo? Can you say that again? No entiendo. No entiendo. I don't understand. No sé. O no lo sé. I don't know. No tengo ni idea. No tengo ni idea. I have no idea. No hablo español. No hablo español. I don't speak Spanish. Estoy perdido. Estoy perdido. I'm lost. ¿Qué significa? ¿Qué significa? What does something mean? For example, ¿qué significa esta palabra? ¿Qué significa esta palabra? What does this word mean? Mi español es malo. Mi español es malo. My Spanish is bad. ¿Puedes hablar más despacio? ¿Puedes hablar más despacio? Can you speak more slowly? Now, there's something interesting about the word despacio. In Spain, it's pronounced a bit differently. Despacio. Despacio. And this is one of the ways that Spanish from Spain or from Latin America differ slightly. And if you're interested in learning more about this, I have a helpful video here on the Spanish C that you might find useful. There's a link right here and in the description below as well. Next, let's learn some cool Spanish phrases for special occasions. You can have fun practicing these. Diviértete. Diviértete. Have fun. Buen viaje. Buen viaje. Have a good trip. Buen provecho. Buen provecho. Bon appétit. Muy bien. Muy bien. Well done. Cuídate. Cuídate. Take care. Felicitaciones. Felicitaciones. Congratulations. Feliz cumpleaños. Feliz cumpleaños. Happy birthday. Salud. Salud. Meaning cheers. And finally, it's time to say goodbye. So in Spanish, you have lots of options here and you probably know this first one. Adios. Adios. Goodbye. And adios does mean goodbye, but some people think it sounds quite, quite final. It sounds <laughs> like you'll never see that person again. So a more casual way to say goodbye is hasta luego hasta luego see you later this is a really common way to say goodbye in spanish and you could also say hasta pronto hasta pronto see you soon or maybe hasta mañana hasta mañana see you tomorrow another goodbye that's really casual is nos vemos nos vemos. Literally, we see each other, meaning we'll see each other again. And this is a nice, easygoing goodbye to use with your friends. And now for our final goodbye. When you've had enough conversation in Spanish for the night, you can say, okay, I'm off, I'm going home. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Good night. Remember that buenas noches is the last thing you say right at the end of the evening when you're off to bed. It's different from the English good evening, which you say when you actually meet somebody. And Definitely, before you say buenas noches, you should check out this amazing free resource that I've prepared for you, which, as promised, you can download it right over here. And it's called the Vocab Power Pack. And it's like a phrase book of the most useful Spanish vocabulary, plus really useful tips for how to memorize it fast so you can learn the perfect thing to say in Spanish in any situation. It's completely free. Just click the link over here or in the description box below.